Hi guys, my name's Adrian and in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about code and what is good code and bad code and what is code in general that makes good code good or bad code bad because I've noticed that as I've been working as a developer I feel like my own code has gotten a little bit better and I'm able to judge a little bit better the differences between good and bad code but the very first thing that I want to point out is that if you are in development and if you are coding, when you're starting out, there is no such thing as bad code. It's best to be able to get started on coding and starting to learn. And when you're starting out, you shouldn't worry too much on whether your code is good or bad. Really, you should be focusing more on just learning to code and doing your best. And when you're doing that slowly, you'll learn the differences between good and bad code. You'll learn how to improve your own skill set for coding. But at the very start, you don't have to worry too much, like I said. But when you're working more and more in code, the best way to analyze whether your code is good or not is really to look back on it. And I don't mean look back on it on the same day. I mean, when you look back on code a year or later, and you're looking at your own code, you'll be able to tell if it's good or bad straight away because you'll be able to see whether it's readable, whether it makes sense or whether there are a lot of bugs in there. Usually when you're writing your own code in the moment, it's not as easy to tell whether it's good or not because you're just trying to get the function or the feature to work. And sometimes you don't worry too much about whether the code in general is good or bad and what is good or bad code in general. Well, if I was to analyze my code, I would base it on how well it is in terms of readability. Really good code for me is one that is self-documenting. And that means that the function name, the variable names, and the flow of the actual functional feature actually comes across very easy to read so that if you pass it along to anyone else or even yourself into the future, you'll be able to understand it. The second part of good code is obviously that it performs really well. So you're not performing redundant topics or a redundant sort of functionality. You've got really small, tiny functions which serve a single use case and get the job done. Now, I know that sometimes when you're in the moment, like I mentioned before, it's hard to tell whether code is good or not. And the way that I usually like to do this is I actually pass it to someone else to have a look if they're able to interpret what I'm writing just off the bat. Because sometimes when you're doing things yourself and you're in the nitty and gritty of it as well, you might understand all the concepts and everything that ha that's happening in the moment. But if you're taken outside of the moment, like yourself into the future or passing it to another person, that's when your code gets to test this that standard of whether it's good or not. Because if someone else is able to understand it straight away, it means that it's pretty good. And the other aspect to that is whether it's very redundant or not. And when I mean redundant, then I mean whether you're performing the same sort of scripts and functions and stuff all over again um, throughout your code. And when I do this, I, I usually have a look at whether my code is almost like React. Now, React has some really good principles and it has helped me code in general a lot better because what it allows you to do is create a system where you're creating components inside other components and you're reusing different functional components and classes and all of that. And this sort of prevents you from going outside of that object-oriented code structure where you might be writing redundant code. React forces you to focus in on having good code principles. And I know that a lot of the principles that I took from learning React, I've now used outside of it as well. And these are things that like, even if I'm writing in plain JavaScript and I need to write out a function, rather than create that function as maybe a 200 line document, I break it up into smaller chunks. This means that I might have three or four different functions that are called inside of one global function. And that global function might be a lot smaller in general, as well as the other four functions being a lot smaller too. And they're able to complete single individual tasks very succinctly. And that way they're also very reusable. When you write out a bad code, in a function or a feature, then it's usually served as a single use case. You might not ever be able to use that code again. 
But if you're writing good code and you write out a good feature or function, you can make it very generalistic and you can capture that one feature in one function or maybe a subset of a number of smaller functions that you'll be able to reuse in the future for future projects or future ideas and this is the hallmarks of good code it's being able to have code which is very clear that's very reusable and that makes sense now, I know getting to this stage isn't easy, and for me it took many, many years before I was able to capture the essence of good and bad code. And I'm still learning, trying to improve how I code. I know that React helped me a lot, but I'm gonna jump into some other languages like maybe Angular and Vue and see if I can carry across some of the principles they use, because I know that just learning React by itself helped me a lot to code with better code in general. And I think that if those lessons carry across so well for a library like React, then there must be other principles that I can learn from other frameworks, such as maybe Angular or Vue. So I'm going to check those out. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia, and I do lots of videos around design and development, but I'm looking for lots more topics to talk about. So if you guys have ideas of things you'd like me to cover, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.